Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I'm bringing you a discussion video talking about the secret ending for Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. So, this cutscene is pretty damn cool because of the fact that it's almost as if we are now on the brink of Kingdom Hearts 3. If you guys haven't checked out the cutscene already, I honestly encourage you guys to do so because, of course, we are going to be talking about it today. So, yeah, like I was saying, the really cool thing about this cutscene is the fact that it sort of signifies to a certain an extent that we are now on the very edge of entering Kingdom Hearts 3. Within the secret cutscene, it's skipped to the sort of present events of Kingdom Hearts, where we see uh, Riku, Kairi, Mickey, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. The whole gang is back, and it's a really, really cool thing to see, especially with the new technology and the new graphics. It's just looking absolutely beautiful. Now, thanks to this cutscene, it has kind of told us a few interesting points, especially when looking towards Kingdom Hearts 3. And in a sense, this cutscene right here sort of serves the purpose of the very beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3, due to the fact that Tetsuya Nomura has actually mentioned that, in a way, this cutscene is kind of in Kingdom Hearts 3's domain. So essentially, I just want to use this video to kind of talk about the more interesting points that I noticed in the secret movie, and exactly how they relate to Kingdom Hearts 3. But before we do that, let's actually go over some official information from Tetsuya Nomura speaking towards the secret movie. So, thanks to an interview from Famitsu, we have some information. So the first part reads, Firstly, once again, can you explain to us the position of Kingdom Hearts 2.8 in the storyline and the kind of game that it's turned out to be? Nomura said, in regards to the story, it can be said to be in the position of a prologue, so just like the name suggests. It's a story you should know about before playing Kingdom Hearts 3. It's a story set right before 3, or perhaps it's ever so slightly crossed into Kingdom Hearts 3's domain. They go on to say in Kingdom Hearts 0.2, there's a scene where Sora and friends makes an appearance. Is this a scene that's crossed over into that domain? Nomura replied, we may put that episode into Kingdom Hearts 3 as a sort of digest, but the only place you will see it in fine detail is in 0.2. If you check its chapter name in theater mode, you will understand its purpose. Like I was talking about before, Tetsuya Nomura has mentioned the fact that the 0.2 Birth by Sleep secret movie right at the end is kind of in a way part of Kingdom Hearts 3's domain, and that certainly does make sense with the title name that it does have in the fact that, of course, it kind of sets up the very beginning events of Kingdom Hearts 3. In a way, it's the very start of the game, and Tetsuya Nomura said right here that they might actually end up adding that cutscene into KH3 as a sort of digest, and honestly, I think that makes a lot of sense just considering the fact that I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who don't end up playing Kingdom Hearts 2.8, but will end up playing Kingdom Hearts 3, and so for people like that, it would make a lot of sense to put that cutscene at the start of KH3 before you, of course, you know, like, jump into the game itself. The other interesting thing to talk about is the title name of the cutscene itself. It's actually called 2.9 the first volume. So I know a lot of people for a long time were really worried about the fact that, oh shit, you know, because of the fact that Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is a title, does that mean that Kingdom Hearts 2.9 will one day be a title? And there was for some time this rumor going around that Kingdom Hearts 2.9 could actually be a real Kingdom Hearts title. But I think now, thanks to this cutscene's name, it's kind of like put all of our worries at ease. And rather than getting a Kingdom Hearts 2.9 in the form of a game, rather we now have it in a cutscene. But as you guys can tell by the title name, it signifies that we are extremely freaking close to Kingdom Hearts 3. And nothing's better than that. All we gotta do is add 0.1! So let's talk about the more interesting points of the 0.2 secret movie. So the really cool thing about this cutscene as a whole is it explains to us what the three characters being that of Sora, Riku, and Kairi are going to be getting up to during the events of Kingdom Hearts 3, or more so specifically, the very beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3. So let's look towards Kairi first. It's explained in this cutscene that Kairi and Lee are going to be getting trained to use the Keyblade by Merlin, which is very interesting. I have entrusted the wizard Merlin to oversee the training for our new Keyblade wielders, yourself and Lee. 
Initially, I kind of thought that Yen Sid would be doing the task as it's kind of like sort of hinted towards in Dream Drop Distance, but it appears as if Merlin is actually going to be teaching Kyrie and Lee how to properly use the Keyblade. Now, of course, this makes sense. We know that Kyrie in Kingdom Hearts 3 will be going through a training phase because she's still very fairly new to that of the Keyblade. And of course, same goes with Lee. He only just recently achieved his Keyblade during the events of Dream Drop Distance. So both of these characters are very new to the power of the Keyblade. And of course, Merlin will go through the whole process of teaching them how to correctly use it. Now, when looking towards King Mickey and Rhi Riku, it's made very, very obvious that their task in Kingdom Hearts 3 will be to retrieve Aqua. Now, we know that 0.2 Birth by Sleep starts off by Mickey explaining the story of when he met Aqua in the Realm of Darkness to both Riku and Kairi. And of course, by the end of 0.2, we then see Mickey finishing up the story and then they kind of have a discussion about, you know, why exactly did you not tell me about Aqua? We could have gone and saved her and stuff. And of course, time needed to pass in order for the right time to save her. So of course, now is the right time, considering the fact that they need the Guardians of Light in order to take down Xehanort, Aqua being one of them. So it's very clear that their time Task in Kingdom Hearts 3 will be to retrieve Aqua from the Realm of Darkness. And during this cutscene, we actually see King Mickey and Riku leave Yen Sid's tower in order to go find the entrance to the Realm of Darkness. The other really cool thing is Yen Sid uh, actually gives them like these suitcases and inside the suitcases contain new outfits. So I gather these are the new outfits for both Mickey and Riku uh, for Kingdom Hearts 3 and apparently these outfits have like resistances against the Dark Realm and all this sort of stuff to kind of like protect them which is also like super awesome, very cool but we know that their task in KH3 will be to retrieve Aqua. Now honestly what I'm hoping for is we actually like from time to time see cutscenes of their kind of like little journey throughout the Realm of Darkness trying to track down Aqua rather than not being shown anything at all and like say halfway through KH3 we suddenly um, meet up with like Riku and Mickey and their task is done and we've seen like none of their task because then that would leave for like a lot of a sort of lingering questions and mysteries and I feel as if Kingdom Hearts is really good at doing that sort of stuff so I'm really hoping that in KH3, from time to time, say when we like finish a certain world, it'll kind of like go over to what Riku and Mickey are doing and we get to kind of see like exactly what they're currently up to in that point in time. And lastly, let's talk about Sora, Donald and Goofy. So most of the secret movie is focusing mainly towards Sora, Donald and Goofy and of course that makes sense being that of the fact that Sora is the main protagonist of Kingdom Hearts and he's going to be the shining star in KH3. Finally, it's about time we receive a damn game where Sora is like the main protagonist and the focus is back on Sora. I think that's just utterly one of the most exciting points of KH3 for me personally. However, going back to it, it's very well explained in this cutscene where Sora is actually heading off to and we can actually very clearly connect the E3 2015 trailer up with this secret cutscene. The really cool thing is at the end of this cutscene, we see Sora heading off to Olympus Coliseum. All right, Olympus Coliseum, here we come. For the reason being is, Yen Sid explained to Sora that he actually needs to go see a hero who once lost his power but then easily regained it. Similar to the situation that Sora is currently in, due to Sora falling into darkness during the events of Dream Drop Distance, it stripped him from a lot of his power. So he's now in the position of, oh shit, I need to like try and regain my power again. So in order to do that, he needs to make his way to Olympus Coliseum and train with Hercules in order to regain his power. Now, we know in the E3 2015 Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer that we see a lot of different like gameplay segments of Sora in his KH2 outfit running around in the Olympus Coliseum world, which is more so Mount Olympus. Now, I know for like a long time, ever since the initial reveal of that trailer, a lot of us were kind of like trying to connect the dots. We see like the Rapunzel world with him wearing his new outfit, but then again, we see the Olympus Coliseum world wearing his KH2 outfit. So it's very clear that the very start of Kingdom Hearts 3 will take place 
in Mount Olympus, with Sora being in his old um, outfit from Cage 2 and of course I gather that once we like finish up the Olympus Coliseum world, we'll make our way to some location, get the new outfit, and of course continue on our way. So at this point, it's pretty fair to say that we have a clear idea as to how Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to begin. Hope you guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, I just wanted to sit down today to talk about the secret movie in 0.2, as you guys can see, it clearly connects and sort of sets up the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3 and explains to us exactly what the characters are going to be doing at the start of the game itself and of course where it will take them. The guys having a fantastic day and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.